Green Arrow number zero, written by Judd Winnick, art by Freddie Williams II. This is Oliver's guilt. It's the reason that he does everything, apparently. So we open up, he has a bow and arrow, and he is on an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, and he's throwing a massive party because I guess he just brought this bow and arrow because his daddy was making him take lessons in how to do that. I don't know why. But he, he's just saying, like, yep, nope, I'm over on this oil rig because my dad... I got fired from a bunch of other jobs, so he just put me here to make sure that things go well here. And it's like a nothing job, but I'm making it my own by hosting massive raves of people who are flown in by helicopter to this oil rig. And he's aiming his arrow at this suit that he put an apple on top of and ends up going into the crotch of the suit. And he's there with his girlfriend, who I... It's Lena, and his friend Tommy Merlin. So... They're both like, man, you suck at archery. He's like, eh, well, I just started, and also I'm pretty drunk, but whatever. So they're all just giving him crap about that. Helicopters keep flying in with more people, and uh, the girlfriend, Lena, she's like, Oliver, who's that on the on this helicopter coming? He's like, oh, that's Carlo Pike, you know, the rock band guy. And he's like, uh, I know Carlo Pike is the famous drug dealer. And he's like, yeah, but he's also in a band. He's coming in for some entertainment. And Lena is just kind of through with Oliver's shit at this point. He's like, dude, you, yes, you have this whole party boy thing going on. But, like, your dad made you in charge of this thing because he wants you to actually do something with your life. And, yeah, you've made your point. You've turned it into an entire farce. But, like, you, you're now just becoming a bit of a jackass. This is, I think it's done. And he's like, oh, it's done when I say it's done. So... Lena storms off and Tommy's like, hey, uh, you've been dating her longer than you've literally dated anyone else. Maybe try not to lose her so easily. And as they're looking in at the um, helicopters coming in, one of them just suddenly explodes. And out of it, or maybe from behind it, hard to tell, honestly, a military helicopter appears along with this metahuman looking guy named Iron Eagle. And he just comes in and he's like, well, hey, I didn't expect there to be a party out here, but... Add my name to the list. And they just start shooting uh, all the guards who were around with guns and taking all the guests hostage. And Tommy and Oliver quickly make their way to lower decks. They find a uh, maintenance guy who's down there. And basically Oliver's like, what the hell's going on? I thought we were supposed to have guards. This place is supposed to be secure. What the hell's going on? Aren't you doing your job? And the guard's like, dude. You're the one who was bringing in helicopters constantly. That completely compromised our security. This is literally all on you. And the guy basically, they have a TV on where we see that uh, the entire uh, thing is being broadcasted out live. The guy's making a claim. He's basically, he's there. He's going to collect several millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of crude oil. And then he's just going to go. He's just a pirate. So they're like, all right, we better just let him do what he's going to do so everyone can make it out safe. And we see that he has Lena strapped with explosives and is kept at the center of this hostage pile. And Oliver's like, no, no way. I'm not letting him go after what he's done. We're going to make a stand. So he grabs his bow and arrow and he makes his way through. And we see him encounter like two of the other pirates or whatever who have full like assault gear and he you know knocks him out he takes a hit on the uh, bows and arrows and then oliver's like okay we should be right underneath him i'm going up top side and tommy's like are you an idiot you can't even fire that thing properly and you're gonna go try to fight some like metahuman pirates you're an idiot and he's like Psh, don't tell me what i can and can't do so tommy calls him out i'm like is this like a screw you, screw you to your dad? Is this a hero complex? What are you doing this for? Because you are literally going to make things worse. And he's like, whatever. So he goes up. He's got an arrow drawn. He's in the shadows. And he takes a shot at the hand of uh, Iron Eagle in order to get him to drop the detonator. And lo and behold, he actually does make the shot. And he's like, all right, cool. So he'll drop the detonator. It should, based off this angle, drop into the ocean beneath and everyone should be safe. Super cool. So he takes the shot. It goes into the guy's hand. He drops the detonator, but it doesn't fall into the ocean. It hits the side of the oil rig and causes the detonation to go off. And then we just see one panel of Lena looking down as the bomb goes beep and then boom, explode along with all the other hostages. So, uh, yeah, not a good day. 
Tommy body slams, tackles Oliver off the rig. They cling on to some uh, concrete, like, somehow floating. I don't understand that part. But uh, Tommy's like, you are literally going to get everyone around you killed. That is my dying message to you. Uh, as he seemingly passes away. So, same story Green Arrow always has. He washes up on an island. He starts having to actually use his archery skills to survive. And he becomes Green Arrow as the months go by. Cut to a year later. Uh, we see Roy Harper is in jail. He's somehow taken his guard's cell phone and is playing some games on it. And he's being told that he met Bale. He tosses the phone back to the guard and says, like, oh, sorry. And by the way, I jailbroke your phone and got you some cool new apps. Bye. And we see that the person who broke, who bailed him out of jail was Oliver. And he's like, here's the deal, Roy. Uh, I know that you are really smart and you could you have an opportunity here to make the lives of everyone around you better i want you to join my team we're going to go out and we're going to do something special and he's like okay so we see that you know green arrow and possibly arsenal because it's not actually on the page we just see green arrow and it's like one arrow at a time we're going to make things better we're going to make up for it and then epilogue issue uh modern day some island that has a hospital on it run by some nuns uh, has Tommy Merlin, who's been in a coma for all this time, but now he's finally waking up, and I'm sure he'll have lots of questions. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't feel like this was necessary. Like, the fact that... The fact that he was a playboy and, like, treated people like crap and, like, didn't take anything seriously is enough yes he should have a death or two in like his immediate family tommy that would have been a fine enough death on its own but for him to be responsible for an entire oil rig full of hostages to explode seems just a little bit too overkill on the guilt part that's that's just a tiny bit too much for me at least and then obviously like i guess they assumed that we already knew the whole backstory of oh yes he trained on this island and he got better because i think at this point arrow was already airing maybe not but yeah, it was, it just feels like a bit too much. It's a, it makes it just unatonable in a lot of ways. I don't know that that's, maybe that's just me. Maybe, you know, he's got his own thing going on at this point, but it just seemed like a bit too much. So overall, I'm going to give this one, uh, the art was okay. It wasn't great. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 6.5. It's, it's not offensively bad, but it did just come off as a bit too grimdark, which I guess fits in with the new 52. <laughs>